So spider silk is one of the strongest and toughest materials that exist. We started working with spiders, brown recluse spiders, in uh, 2013, about six years ago. And we chose those spiders because they make this beautiful flat tape that looks like a piece of scotch tape that's uh, scaled down in all directions by about 2,000 times. This spider silk is so unique and different from all the silks that 45,000 other spider species make. We wanted to know, is it as strong? So we came up with a series of uh, experiments that really allowed us to test this material at the nanoscale and we were able to find out that indeed it's as good as any spider silks. The next big thing that we found out is that the spider, the brown recluse spider, uses the stickiness of that tape to actually make some really interesting looking complicated structures out of, out of this ribbon. So it actually spins uh, thousands and thousands of tiny loops into its, uh, into its silk. We're, we're taking the ribbon silk and now we're, we're folding this into a loop and then we glue it together, that itself adhesive. So it looks like this. And then if we put a load on this, then the loop will snap open like this. And we material scientists call this toughness. So it makes the material tougher or it allows it to absorb much more energy before it, before it breaks. We found that there are thousands of uh, small nanofibrils next to each other that make up this ribbon. So what we did is we took the silk in its uh, dissolved state, where it's more like a gel, out of the spider and came up with spinning techniques that allowed us to actually synthetically create uh, such nanofibrils that just look the same as in the natural silk. We were able to make them synthetically in the lab. So that means we're really onto something. We think we can now trigger the formation of these nanofibrils and hopefully, eventually, we'll be able to make an entire ribbon that's made, that's made out of these nanofibrils.